What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd? Do you rock and roll for Mega Man? <laughs> Hello again, Tom and Lady Lacey, celebrating 35 years of Mega Man. What we are doing is sharing some of our Mega Man fandom with you, the things we've collected, some memories, and we're sharing the memories of some of our nerdling friends in the community as well. Wow, 35 years. Such an iconic character as Mega Man. What do you think of the way he looks? I think he looks like one of your anime characters. <laughs> You're not far off. <laughs> yeah, the artwork of Mega Man is heavily inspired by old school anime hero Astro Boy, but he doesn't really look like a real boy. He's uh, he he's got his own look going on. Yeah, he's blue. He's he's all the blues. He is all the blues. The sprite form with all the blue hues is because of the limited color palette on the NES. Now, blue had the most usable shades, so this color scheme was given to really make our hero pop off the screen. You know, it really works well for all those animations because you want to see your little blue hero. This time, let's turn it over to our buddy Riff from Pixel Game Squad, and he might have a few other people comment. Jay, NES Addict, maybe Eric, Retro Gaming Pandemic? Mega Man, to me, is the platformer side scroller that kind of defined like pushing people to their limits with side scrolling platformers, but while keeping it fun. So what I mean by that is there's a lot of, you know, side scrolling platforming games where they're super easy or they're super brutal. I feel like the early Mega Man games for me, me at least talking about the earlier Mega Man games really gave me that, that push of being like, okay, this game's really fun and really enjoyable and it's really hard and it's really brutal. But it's also on that level to where it gives me a little bit of room to find myself, to push myself, and not completely rage quit and turn it off. Because I know on the NES, at least speaking for the NES, so many of those games that were brutally difficult were so hard that you just flipped them off. You flipped the switch and said, I'm done. But with Mega Man, at least in the NES ones, you found that fine line. Brutal, fun, but not too brutal. Kept you going. Now the ones in the Super Nintendo, those are just straight up freaking fun. The only thing about Mega Man 1 that I would disagree with this one particular section of what Aaron said is the uh, the yellow monster. I don't know what the, what his name is. The mon mustard monster. I don't know. That particular boss amps it up at a whole another difficulty level. I definitely did the cheat on that guy. Mega Man Two, uh, I think, is the pinnacle of Mega Man games. I know a lot of people are split between that one and three. Um, I have tried to beat three. I beat one using the cheat, and I've beat three. I mean, I beat two, sorry. Um, but uh, I have never beat three, even though I've tried. There's just one section where you have to fight two bosses that I just haven't got past yet. Hey, Tom, I agree with everything that Riff said. Uh, if you want, just take Riff's clip, and for the little uh, name card, just put Eric in Retro Gaming Pandemic. Uh, Riff and I pretty much look alike, uh, so uh, I, I think we can make that work. So yeah, just take Riff's work and give credit to me. Yay! That right there is exactly why we love talking video games. I mean, Jay was seriously just in his car. He, you, We just talk about games all the time. That's what we do. That's that's how we roll. <laughs> rock and roll, because rock, man, and roll. Okay, anyway, guys, there are going to be links to all those awesome channels in the description down below. Now, for you, please share with us your mega memories in the comment section below. Do all that YouTube stuff, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because there are more mega stories coming your way. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public and check us out on the Retro Refresh. Nerdlings, you know what it is. If we like it, we nerd it for Mega Man. <laughs>